Streams up? Yep. Okay. Let's chat. Show is live. Six. Yeah, for some reason yours it didn't tag. Um, Coach Nates, I'm just gonna copy that link. MOG flexed biceps with medium light skin tone. Hey, I appreciate the love, everybody. We're just about to start the show. I'm just, uh, we also have uh, the other show on Coach Nates, which is uh, sixgamingleague.com, which is live, uh, which brings you directly to his, uh, to his Twitch. Um, so real quick, let's just start the show. Um, good afternoon, good evening, uh, wherever you are. Hey, ye. Yay, yay. Uh, we have Optima GLG and uh, Coach Nate. As you know, Optima here every second Monday. Optima, how's it going, my G? Well, I can't complain. No one wants to listen, right? <laughs> but uh, you know the deal, yo. But uh, we're here with Coach Nate as well, and Coach Nate has uh, quite a few things coming up throughout the uh, thing. He's going to be covering the trill. Um, game Trill, the team owner, uh, a different breed, a different breed versus the TST game, which happened last night. That was the semifinals game. Coach Nate will be having here with all the coverage. Optima GLG, who is our outside source, has actually um, picked the watch list for the awards, and he's going to uh, just kind of give you a quick shout out on who he thinks should uh, get the specific awards, um, as well as me. I'll be in here covering a little bit of the east side where we had the it's 2k renegade versus deathstroke game for the semifinals and uh let's let's just kick it off here because i know everybody wants to really really hear about the awards you know the awards is a big deal and i mean optima put a lot of time and a lot of thought into this so i'm gonna have optima just like literally just kick it off here with the awards let's get let's get hype <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna, um, real quick, I don't think your voice is being shared. Um, we're going to try and start this over again and see if we okay, can get yeah. your voice to be shared. Is, is anybody hearing Optima? Um, just so, go to the party settings, Optima, and just allow for current play if you can. Do you hear about my stream, Nate, by chance? No. I do, yeah. Oh yeah, they don't hear you. They don't hear you. Yeah, you might have to reset the allow for current play. Yeah, Optima actually had some good stuff he was going with there, so I mean, <laughs> uh, we're just kind of <laughs> well. There you go, uh, Optima. Let me know when it's shared. A little technical difficulty, but we will be back in thirty seconds. So if you just click the, the middle button and you go to the party, and then you go to party settings, uh, allow voice to be shared, and you can allow it for current player or allow it always. Okay. 
So that's why you were doing it through broadcast before. So it's, it was just set to your own. It wasn't set to the, uh, to the party. All right. So there we go. Much better. What's up? There everybody? we go. And we are back. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. All right, here we go. So, um, all right, so I'm going to get right into the categories. I think this might be uh, everyone's favorite um, part of this bit of the show um, when you're not talking about the team anymore because, let's face it, not every team is still in it. Um, now it's about some of the player awards. It's kind of nice to see how you, you know, match up against your peers and the other competitors, you know, around you. So we're going to step right into that. First up, uh, let's talk about owners of the year. I took a lot of inside information on this um, just because I'm not really down in the trenches with you guys all the time. So um, owner of the year, I'm going to go through it real quick. Uh, those teams um, are uh, good vibes only. King Cap over there doing good things. 2K Impact, who's their owner? That is Coach Nate. Scrub. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, another team, everybody's heard of them, a different breed, probably everybody's favorite team of the ones I'm listing. No offense to other teams, just everybody heard of them, you know. Um, next up, we have Unruly Gang, uh, which is a new, new team to 6GL and also Most Wanted. So another uh, one of the favorites out there. Um, so those are, those are the uh, owners. Uh, those teams are in the running for uh, owners of the year. I'm going to try to minimize my amount of uhs and ums. Okay. I'll get you uh, up. Any of you? Any of you guys have something to chime in on those? I mean, owner of the year is like a special award. I mean, it's the I, I think sure. it, I believe it's the people who kept their teams together, the least amount of roster changes, the amount of games that were played, the correlation inside of the owners' chats due to messages and getting back and forth to the owners and uh, adjusting to the situations of matchup times and dates. I mean, that's that's pretty much what I'm looking for. I mean, I'm 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 sure that's what anybody's that, looking for, right? <laughs> that's a really that's a really really tight nutshell to put that in too, to be honest, because I think anybody with a Twitter account can see some of the frustration that team owners go through. Exactly. Getting teams together, getting teams to stay together, getting a bunch of really, you know, um, like <laughs> strong-minded people to get along and kind of agree to do things the team way and not just their own way. So, you know, that Coach can Nate, be what about, what about you? Do, you? do you do you have anything to say on the uh, the team owners? Like, what do you look for um, in, in, in the team owner of the year? So he don't look for nothing. That's okay. All right. We'll take that. <laughs> All right. So I really do. I'm not trying to like push it on, but this is my favorite category right here. So I'm all too happy to get to it. Um, <laughs> sniper of the year. Really? I mean, this is what, this is what matters uh, most. Um, we're just going to go right through and, and talk about some of the uh, most godliest 2K players out there. Clearly, they're the ones hitting the green bean casserole from downtown. The green bean casserole. The green bean jelly me? bean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, number one um, is XX5XX. This man hit 26 threes and uh, went for 60% on the season. So, um, good job. You get to do a little pose right here. Bam. Balance drop. Bow. Yeah, still All right. Little, still um, getting the work. <clears throat> All right. Throw me your dollars. All right. Um, next. Uh, everyone loves this guy. Uh, J. Tory, ADB, 24 made threes, 63% mm -hmm. from downtown. Heck yeah. That's Ooh. pretty decent. Um, next up. This has got to be like, I think, the coolest name out there. Fully Gaza, 876. Holy. May 20, hit 63% as well. So good job as well. Um, two other people next up. Money to Raw, he hit 18 for 62%. Um, Damn. So good job for Money to Raw. And we would be remiss if we don't mention Coach Nate right there. Um, hit 17 threes. 71 percent my guy this dude is really out here flexing so that's the uh that's that's the highest three point percent right there in your league so glg good shit glg green light all right god, I got god, 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 god. <laughs> <laughs> all right um you want to nate you want to go ahead and discuss the uh the defensive player of the year or you want me to yeah. go right into that as well 
I'll take defense. Um, maybe, I think we've got. Maybe you know, I think we should. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was able to play defense um, alongside one of these players as well as um, against several of these guys, and um, you know, I think it's a testament to our league of how tough this was um, to make it. And you know, we look at the defensive player of the year. It's something we wanted to make sure that you know it would be easy to go, hey, look, let's just give it to the guy with the most steals, right? I mean, I think yeah. that's there, but. It's, I think it's a consistent across the board. It's not just steals. It's steals, rebounds, blocks. It's um, how do they do against other point guards. Um, right. I think it's easy to say, you know, hey, look, there was, you know, these people had the most steals per game. These people had this. What we got out of this, you know, we have people like I'm here, I'm ready, that end up with – uh, I, I, he's got two, he two to three, yeah, two to three steals a game, and he's looking at um, another two to three blocks a game. And then you're also talking about, hey, look, he's also led death stroke to where they're at right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and that's not a know. fluke with that guy. I played against that guy a few times, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's absolutely. Ty's done a, so. <laughs> he's done a wonderful job. You didn't just get good this year, definitely. yeah. No, <laughs> he's definitely definitely been <laughs> been in the game calm for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, and then uh, we actually have the you know. All star members from Unruly Gang, Exhibit, and Devmatic. Both of them have uh, kind of split lock duties for um, what they've got for Unruly, and uh, they've done a good job. Exhibit actually leads, I believe, our league in steals, um, total steals, and uh, Dev has been a uh, pretty pretty good on ball lock as well. Um, mm-hmm. Scooter um, for 2K Impact was, um, I'm lucky to say, my power forward this year. And, uh, well, actually, he was just a utility man, he mainly played. Um, power forward, but he could play anywhere you asked him to. He played mm-hmm. uh, five for us in the, um, you know, playoff games. He's played at the two for us in games. Um, I've said it once. I've said it a hundred times. I still think he's one of the best uh, passing lane defenders in the game. Yes, definitely. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a nightmare for people. It is. Uh, and, you know, he's a guy that he's getting rebounds. He's getting steals. He's getting, uh, um, you know, getting blocks. And I, I would even say this. He's a guy that most people are going to push their offense away from his corner. Um, right. And, you know, our other corner was below most of the year, and he kind of took advantage of getting the steals. But um, I think Scooter was a guy that, that it was almost kind of like Darrell Revis playing with, uh, you know, the Patriots and, or excuse me, with the Jets and, you know, against the Patriots. They would always throw away from him. Um, if it was man on man coverage, Scooter's, you know, he's one of those guys. Um, so when but, you talk about yeah players that impact make an impact on defense doesn't mean absolutely. they got the steal right so they make a you know make the point guard make the bad pass but yeah, statistically absolutely. scooters there too twenty nine steals and eleven blocks so that puts him number two in the league for steals uh, and like top five or six in the league for blocks as well so mm. <laughs> he's got it on the numbers and where he does where where it's not on the numbers uh, I think there was one and, more player on that list. Yep, there yeah. is a uh, neighborhood um, who was a member of Most Wanted, then uh, we've actually moved to Slats. Um, and uh, he's been a guy that was a big rebounder, um, physical very guy down low. Yep, very competitive. Um, extremely competitive, yes. Uh, you know, he's a guy that he might, he might catch a poster every now and then, but at the end of the day, um, he's probably either going to return the favor um, or he'll snag <laughs> over to you too. But he's a guy that's going to play – um, he's going to play down low defense. And so, um, you know, he, he did a good job of uh, making his his way there. He's actually um, really our, our lone number five because he's, he's the lone center on our list. Everybody I think else he still averages kind of, the, uh, uh, the most rebounds in all of the league. Oh, it wouldn't shock me at all. So, um, but, you know, we, we've mentioned uh, sniper of the year. We've mentioned, um, you know, owner of the year. We've mentioned uh, defensive player of the year. Next up, we have VIP of the year or our outreach and social media award. Um, mm. Slaps, Optima, you want to take that? Opti's got this one. I can do that. Drum Please. roll. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing about the uh, very important person role in community outreach is, uh, you know, the uh, individual who does the most positive impact um, for the face of the six gaming league. So those players uh, in the running right now are Trill ADB, mm-hmm. Slim, J Money, Sir Rebounds a lot, 
and Louis V from TST. And, and J Money, we oh. call him J Money because he's he's been a, he's been with us for a while. But I mean, he did change his name. His name's now Money Too Raw. Um, it's, oh, it's Money, Money Too Raw. Oh, is yeah, that the J- same guy? Yeah, J Money, aka Money Too Raw. It's the same guy, man. He's been he's been here oh for a long God. like three years now. I think it was, and well, and slid his way over to Two K you know, Impact and. And uh, I, yeah. I assume he's going to be there for uh, for quite a long time as well. So, I mean, I mean, I certainly hope so. You know, uh, playing with money this year was, you know, it's special. Um, I mean, you, you already saw the numbers. He's in the running for Sniper of the Year. He's yeah, yeah. Um, he was a, a literal Swiss Army knife for us on, on different positions. Mm-hmm. Um, was never really a liability for us in any case whatsoever. Very patient, um, but he was also a really good good outreach member. He's uh, consistently in draft tens. He's consistently talking to people in the community about 6GL. He's always very active with us. And so mm-hmm. I, and he's I'm, always supporting. Could not I mean, be more grateful yeah, for him. Def- definitely. Uh, my team did a, you know, I had a good team this year. I was really, I was really blessed. I mean, I, 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 I was proud of I'm, your team this year, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but, you I mean, know I'll, what, I'll Nate, say it, this because, it takes skill to build a but, team like that, too. So, I mean, good job. Definitely good job. Same well, with- I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you this. We were, you know, I, I'm blessed to be in the running for whatever, owner of the year, but um, I don't get there without the guys that I had there. Um, and I had uh, eight, really, um, guys that were able to kind of, mm-hmm. you know, help me get there. Um, you know, seven, that is how many we ended with, but. Um, whether it was, you know, Scooter or um, Belo that were kind of my mainstays at 17 or whether it was, um, you know, we had Crazy Man that kind of helped give me the push to start the team uh, from, mm-hmm. from the rip. Um, and, and Crazy was a huge Im- – impact doesn't happen without Crazy, uh, oh, I'll yeah. just be honest. Um, and then we had, you know, Money too. Well, that's where the impact and, came from, right? Like uh, the Big Bang was Crazy. <laughs> no, no, it did not. I'm just uh, but but money too raw and and Ryan Flores, we were able to get both of them in, and they've been huge character fills for us. And then Cold Shot twenty four seven has just been yeah. We um, met, he, been he was picked up from uh, what the draft tens, I think it was. We were doing draft he, ten showcases. He definitely was. He yep. was definitely picked up. Great I mean, I, technically this. This whole team was formed out of draft tens, really. I mean, it really about, was. Yeah, we'll of, be running some more of those during the off season, so um, team owners can come out and kind of find those extra games. five. Yep, six so, deal flight we, um, are the best way to scout. I mean, we'll rerun those during all off season. Team owners come out, gel out with some players. I mean, you're gonna have some great games. You may have some not so good games, but I mean, you're really gonna find the talent that you need to go into next season and with. Kind of an unknown guy, and a guy that doesn't, you know, he doesn't have a huge social media presence, and a guy that's. Um, Steve, not Steve. talked about is is Steve. Yeah, our our center, Steve. Uh, uh, Steve, Steve, five one four. four. Um, he's he's just kind of a quiet guy. Goes in and handles his business. Silent. Um, and we missed him deeply in our playoff game um, because I mean I, I'll just be honest. The guy's an animal down low. Um, you know what he out and he stretches from, the floor too, one, which is always good with a big. He did. Man. He did. What about J Mac? I mean, J Mac. J Mac was also. I forgot to mention. J Mac was also in the uh, from GVO was also in the uh, defensive players of the years. Uh, just yeah. Case. Also, model Sherm and model <laughs> Sherm. So we 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 yeah. Just just figured I touch base back all that you mentioning. You know the centers and and Steve Steve because I think you know yeah. J Mac and model well Sherm definitely alongside with Steve Steve there. I mean, quiet, but I mean, did their thing. I mean, every time the stats were being put in, stats guys were like, "Well, look at these guys right here." Like. You got to keep an eye on more them. Blocks, so, more blocks, yeah, more, more blocks, more blocks, and more blocks, and more rebounds, and space in the floor. And some of these guys are shooting from half court. It's great. Um, before we move on, I want to I want to say we're gonna end it off with like an anti up game. Like we're gonna go and face these folks over here or something. But um, I have a lot of people talking. Like there's a lot of talk around the league, and you know uh, everybody on the east, and then there's everybody on the west. And you always have these conversations where you know the people on the west feel like their competition's a lot harder, and then you have people on the east that are like yo my competition is so hard you don't even know well you know what i believe that um the west might have been a little bit of stronger um but we did have a lot of strongness in the east and i think the only thing that's going to settle this is the east taking the finals which would specifically say the east had more competition because the east wins it 
But I mean, if the West oh, takes it, I mean, I'll I'll go with the West. But <laughs> I, I mean, I'm on the East side, so I think everybody on the East should be really pulling for the East, and everybody on the West be pulling for the West. But, you gotta uh, love when that happens, Coach right? Nate. You being on the West and you really playing a lot of the teams on the West. I mean, you got a few East yeah, matchups I mean, in there with us, and uh, well, <laughs> Most Wanted and stuff, and a few other teams, GVO. But like mainly you being on the West, I mean you faced a couple teams on the East and you faced a couple teams on the West. I believe the East is a harder competition, but I'm, I'm sure you believe the West is a harder competition. I I think if you look at it top to bottom, I think the West is tough for. I mean I think you can just look at it from a records standpoint. I mean I think the stats don't lie for a number of different things, but I you think also if you look at exactly, I think you can yeah. look at. Um, there's, there's just a bunch of different reasons why I think the West is um, harder than the East. I, I, now, granted, um, there are really good teams in the East. There are two or three really good teams in the East. Um, I think there are five or six really good teams in the West. Yes, um, definitely. And, like, I think that's top to bottom. But I think, you know, if I'm going to say that automatically the East has a better, you know, like I, Renegade – um, is, you know, a really good team. Deathstroke is a really good team. Either one of those teams could easily have won tonight or whenever they play their uh, best of five series. Best but of five series, three this, days to play, yes. TS, TST is, they've been probably the most consistent. And a sleeper. Um, create, yes, Create has been kind of under the radar. But he is literally, I, I would, he's going to put on a show. Create's going to put on a show, um, and they're going to win. I just think they're going to win. I don't uh, think it's even going to go to five. You know, I think it's going to go to three. Uh, okay, I mean, so so it's... so you're going to take you're going to take that team, but I'm I'm going to stick with Deathstroke because I think that TST is going to come out and take game one. I got you on that one, sure. Coach Nate. But I believe Deathstroke is a team of adjustments, and I believe they're they're very smart. They're going to watch some gameplay footage, and they're they're going to make the adjustments needed. I mean, I'm here. I'm ready. <laughs> Is 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 very smart. He's up for an MVP. I mean, yeah, he's, Chris is too. Chris and, 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 is really smart. And TST create. He's up for an MVP too as well. I mean, it's all comes down to decision making with these guys. The adjustments of the games. You got five games to play. Where's the adjustments coming from? How are the adjustments being made? And what teams coming out on top? That's the bottom line. Well, you I think it, you know. You look at you look at Deathstroke, man. You know they've had they've had some real comp people on their team. I mean, you've mm -hmm. got. Uh, Bobby from the lobby was on their team to kind of start the, the year. Yeah, Bobby from the um, lobby was a big had, surprise for me when I went up. And, and I, I see Bobby. You, I'm you like, have, oh, Bobby from the lobby. <laughs> you, you have you have a bunch of really talented. I mean, Chris is is a great point guard for them. He's a great great player for them. Dying breed, bumpy man. He's been kind of in and around the league as well too. With um, I know I think at one point he may have even been running with. Um, with ADB, I think actually. At one yeah, point, he right? ran. Yeah, he ran uh, under uh, Lou Lou Reborn, I believe it was, and he was averaging. Yeah. He was averaging seven steals a game. Believe it or not, he was playing their lockdown position. He was averaging seven steals a game for the three games or that he did play so, I mean, with ADB. He's a guy that he he's very familiar with. Oh no, he's waving hands like, with a tough medium like, I mean, skin tone. They're <coughs> no pushover. Um, we played against them. We lost two extremely close games um, against them. Um, but I, I think at the end, TST is just going to be a little too much, a little too much to handle for um, them. Because uh, they got some, they got some hidden players. Louis V is a kind of a hidden player on TST. You have TST create, you have a, a couple of those guys. And I mean, they, uh, you know, not to go into too much detail, but they definitely, um, they definitely, gave ADB the money's worth in their games and yeah, um, that's, that's, were able to handle it. And you know what? Our, our series with ADB went to a full three and um, felt like a knockout punch, you know, drag them out fight at the end of it. So, um, yeah. you know, that's kind of that. But um, I think both, you know, MVP candidates on both teams, you have Create and I'm here, I'm ready. I think both of those are legitimate MVP one, one of them's going Sorry. home with the $50 uh PSN card that's that's bottom line so i mean whoever wins that like the whole series i mean i'm here i'm ready i mean there could be another player that shows up and really shows their their touch and skill for your team but i mean what with what you've been doing and really holding it together i mean rich is probably 
another possibility. I mean, if Rich really turns up during this competition, I mean, he could slowly take this MVP from I'm here, I'm ready, and, and take home that $50 PS card. And the same with um, on the TST Create side, um, TST side with TST Create, sorry. Uh, you have TST Evolve, who slowly could, uh, you know, turn up this competition, and, and, and he's the second option to take home that uh, MVP PSN card. So, I mean, congratulations, guys. I mean, it's going to be a great game. Um, you know, these I are the times that the MVP type of player steps up, you know what I mean, and does the yep. MVP type of thing to declare themselves the overall The Steph Curry's, winner, the LeBron's, right? the, yeah. you know. That's what they the do. Kyrie's. They make it obvious, make it without contest, mm -hmm. you know. So mm -hmm. This is the time to do that, fellas. And, and I'd like to go over one game that was really amazing to watch was the um, 2K Renegade versus Deathstroke. That was the semifinals game. Um mm -hmm. Renegade came out like like they were swinging. They took game one flying flying colors. I mean that that stroke fighting their way, but I mean there was adjustments made. Definite adjustments made after that game. Death stroke came out and there was no really touching back for for uh, 2K Renegade. Um, third game comes along and uh, that game was like definitely a nail biter, edge of your seat type game. I mean you had uh, 2K Renegade and Deathstroke back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Deathstroke's got a big lead on him in the first, second quarter. Uh, I think it was like 15 points, and then you got um, 2K Renegade, you know, slowly swipes back. You got second, third half, you got them ahead, and then you got Deathstroke, and then you got them ahead by two points. Deathstroke comes back. It goes into overtime. Um, once overtime kicked in, I mean, it, it, it was Deathstroke with, definitely with flying colors, but... I mean, that was probably one that. of my favorite Absolutely. games to watch was like an overtime and like a semifinal game was just crazy. So, um, And not to get all whatever, but isn't that just so cool that we can kind of recreate that atmosphere in a digital environment, dude? Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yep. from, I mean, from across the world. Anyways, not, not to get on that whole thing, but I don't know. So it's, it's absolutely. Cool. So so yeah. we've hit debates and uh, we've hit all this other stuff. I'm going to hit over here because these guys are waiting at this $1,000 game. And take this squad right. spot real quick. Oh, all right, let's do it. Are we gonna? But get I think uh, we'll see. I think you'll see this week where um, you know we have a a bunch of games coming up, lining up. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully, we can um, you know we can get a prediction there for you know the community to say who they think will win between Deathstroke and TST. Definitely. Um, I, Definitely. Right. I think we we want to hear from the community, yeah. too, about these awards. I mean, uh, who do you think absolutely. is the best option? I mean, especially people watching these games. I mean, I see um, quite a few uh, people on uh, Twitter engaging into these games. I mean, I, I see quite a few viewers. I mean, you guys, come on, call it out. Like, you guys are the fans of some of these teams. Call it out. Who do you think should be getting some of these awards? I mean, we have our stats site. I mean, we have our 6gamingleague.com. Um, you can go check out. I mean... There's tons of stuff, and you know them all as players too, as well. I mean, it's just it comes down to them as a player as a whole, right? So it's just for a, sure. Not the competition. <clears throat> all right, so let's see. Here goes my uh, my first stage. What am I on? Ooh, I'm the center. First stage you of the year. The you are the mine too. I am the center. But it's all so, good, homie. It's the game that you play forever. Well, I think um, you know. Either way, for. Uh, for the league that we have here, I think you know it, it'll be it'll yeah. be good. We're looking forward to the next well, year. As well, I got so, fucking... Yeah, <laughs> sorry. So, um, I think you know it's it, it's definitely going to be um, a good thing. Looking forward to, and then we can kind of uh, hopefully you know go forward into the future with some um, you know big opportunities to maybe expand our league to also kind of work on um, hopefully getting a. Uh, getting a consistent league and, and possibly mm. even tournaments too. So I hope people are kind of mm. staying awake during the off season, uh, look for the draft 10 games and, and stuff like that as well. And then um, hopefully we can really grow things going forward. Ooh. So, but um, I'm probably going to cut the stream right here, you know, wish everybody we're getting mopped up by five. Oh yeah. So, that would be too. 
Well, also because I'm lagging. I mean, not really. Train, yeah, so. we're just, we're just, yeah. We're just... All I know is I need a, to uh, get in a draft know. one zero as chat. What? <laughs> Yo. I need a team. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh my god, bro! This is the first time I play any of all year. About please? to lose a thousand. Yo, can we play? Can we play? Can we please sit up? Here we go. Let me, let me bring you. We uh, hopefully can. Well, Come that's on, deep. Oh my Ooh. god. Make things worse, but. If y'all have anything, make sure you add us at, at Six Gaming League um, on Twitter. Um, we also have the uh, Six Gaming League Finest Show uh, Twitter account, and we also have, of course, the playoffs coming up that we'll announce more um, from here in just, just a little bit. So hopefully we can uh, make things work for you guys, and if y'all have any suggestions or anything, just uh, let us know. We stayed inbound, bro. Pass. Let's go. Yeah, we just need to focus in. Yeah. <laughs> no way. There ain't no way, bro. Well, I uh, tried to help you on the board, but I'm okay, letting that go up. To. Oh my god. Yes. All right, that's a little bit better. One more. No. You got that. Let's go. I got Floor General Hall of Fame. Are we actually coming back? Because we were paying attention the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I was legit listening to Nate, like what, what he was talking about. I'm like, oh shit, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. I I was, good pinch. Yeah. I was lagging so bad I couldn't do anything, and I'm still kind of that's lagging. Off. I don't know if you just saw me yeah. like, power skid across bro. the floor right there. That's a steal, right 2K. Don't lie to me. Oh my, I missed the steal. You smoked it, bro. Yeah, I smoked it. I got you with a screen. Oh, he, he blew no, that one. With the point cards, man. Uh, cut. Um, yep. Shot. Nope. Imagine, bro. Like, I tried to go up the first time. Like, it's like, literally, it's skipping in here for yeah. me right now. Oh my, Jeez. I gotta help on that. Yeah. He's getting hell of a boost, like, for, um, that little, whatever, screen. Mm -hmm. Oh! The... Fuck. Mm. That's Give me that. <clears throat> There ain't no way that's not a steal. Anything Bro, I can't. Like, this is ridiculous right here. Yeah, it's tough. You got a shot. No, I mean, I'm saying, like, I can't. Like. I should have just. Go up top. I got corner. Well, I. Okay. Damn. Shit came out slow. Alright, 11 this seconds. We're good. This is ridiculous, bro. This is really good. I'll fake passes when he can go back door. Green. I don't know how the fuck I'm not making that. Yeah, I remember how buffering on YouTube like was a couple years ago. Like that's what I feel yeah. like. Yeah. I'm playing on right now. Yeah, I mean. Pro two K, come on. No, 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 no. Jump. No. I'm boxed. Give me that. I tipped it. Good deal. He's passing out every time, too. It's a good big man. Good D. What? Oh, my God. What is happening to my controller, bro? Oh my god. Thank you. Did it? Jesus, bro. Did y'all see that? I was like, yeah, like, was hot cool. seven, bro. Oh, ooh, ooh, Good steal. Oh, well. Let's go, let's go. 
Give and take away, I guess. Yep. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Green. Still late. Every time. Every time. How is this possible? <laughs> Jump. Dang it. Oh, God. Let's see if I can do this one. Yay. Damn. Yeah, don't, don't pass what? it What? We me, actually tied it back? Play. Yeah, the fight on my misses. You know what? I think I know what I'm doing. It's off. Yep. Come on. I'm not missing again, motherfucker. Let's go. Just so you know, that did say slightly late in case you're looking for your time. I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know why. It's off. Oh, ouch! Yeah, I'm getting stuck. I'm getting stuck in camera. Hey, wrap with me at the top optimal. Got go it. on that left hash, and then slats go corner. And as soon as he wraps, I want you to cut slats. All right? What? Where did huh? I go out of bounds? At? I didn't even see you go out of bounds. That's that's two ko. Yeah, no worries. There it is. Ball don't lie. Good shot. That's oh tough. my. Oh. Got it. Ball don't lie. Green. Do that. We win. Oh. No. Bro, I'm lagging so bad. It sucks. Get up on him. Jump. Damn. Oh, oh, all good, bro. We came back from eight. eight no, man. That's on me, bro. I was fucking throwing <laughs> No, I should have stepped up. Yeah. All right, no worries. But anyways, man, yeah, good. In yeah, good show, guys. I mean, I uh, appreciate everybody viewing in, and uh, I mean, sorry we couldn't get the last for the uh, viewers in there, but I appreciate all the viewers, and, and definitely um, cue into the playoffs, Deathstroke versus TST. Um, Coach Nate's predictions, uh, TST. Thanks My predictions. for watching, bro. 2K... Uh, um, no, sorry, you, the the messages came through, but uh, Coach Nate's prediction is uh, TST. My prediction is uh, Deathstroke from the East. And uh, Opti, what's your prediction for the uh, to the finals game, East or the West? You do know we're not streaming right we're, now, right? I am streaming, and no, I have yours. Oh, yeah. gotcha. um, so, come on, prediction, real quick before we cut out the stream. You got to go East. You got to go West. You got to pick one or the other. Let's go. I mean, I got to go West. Just they're heavy. Hey, I appreciate the. I tough appreciate the. Tough loss, yeah. emoji, confused face. Oh, my tough loss when Sigh I got 56 later. points dropped on me. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about that another day on a personal stream. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not just talk about. So, it. Opti, who are you going with? Um. Oh, that loss right there. Yeah. Yeah. Who's on the West Coast? Man? You have TST or Deathstroke? W. Yeah, so Deathstroke. You're saying Deathstroke? All right, we got two for Deathstroke, one for TST, and uh, let's go. Thanks for everybody watching in, and uh, we'll catch you next week.